Uh, well, uh, we're coming in hot with absolutely nothing this week. It's, uh, yeah, a lot of people complain. They say, oh, the show is past its prime. You know, it peaked, and now mm-hmm. it's only getting yeah. worse. That's right. And, yeah, we've uh, heard your complaints. And, uh, A, who cares? G. I, I care, actually. No, you don't. No. Don't pretend you care. No. No, I said it sarcastically. Now, if... Uh, no, nah, nah, don't try and play the other are, side of the coin. None of us are passionate You're right, about I wasn't this. being sarcastic. <laughs> I care. Now, if you were to say such awful things about my Bijan Fries grooming business... Yep. Mm-hmm. That might get to me. If mm-hmm. they find out the name of it, they're going to just bomb your Google your, reviews Your Google page. reviews are going to go down. The Bijan off. Yeah. Bijan off. <laughs> Bijan off of Bijan Free's grooming business <laughs> by a gentleman who's not as gay as you might think. That's mm-hmm. right. He's actually straight He's as hell. just health. gay enough to s- sneak his way into the good graces of a Bijan Free zoning type of bitch. Of the Bijan Freeze industry. Mm-hmm. Joey, we can use the dogs to get the women we have sex with. Mm-hmm. We can fuck the dogs. Chandler, that's a great idea. I'm Italian. Chandler, I want pussy and a meatball fucking sub. If you want to hear the rest of that bit, go to Patreon.com. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, the Patreon this week was really good. It, it was really it's good. It's really good. Dude. <laughs> it was pretty good. Um, yeah, that's it, what we're saying. Yeah. It's been. It's too hot. It's too damn it hot. It and we got how, Indian food. That was on, in hindsight, it was a mistake. I, I it mean, doesn't listen, matter how guys, much you blast AC. If that was an Adam decision, this show is only good. You're in right. The, you in know the fall. what? I have to say, if Adam's that was right. an Adam decision, if I pushed Indian food <laughs> hand to 90 up, degrees, hand up, we'd be crucifying Sav, you. Right I now. You're right. We should that. have gotten Cuban food instead. Yeah, I could have gotten a fucking salad there and a sandwich. You could have gotten a salad at the fucking Indian restaurant. No, Indian No, you can't get salads. salad at an They're Indian vegetarians. Restaurant. What do you mean they don't have salad? Yeah, but they yeah, boil you can get all different shit. hot sauces and <laughs> sugary hot sauces. Different things in different no, hot sauces. No. Look, I enjoyed the meal, but I'm sluggish. The meal right was now. good. I just feel like dog shit. And then we we walked home f- seven blocks in 90 degree heat. But you know what, guys? None of that matters because I'm with my friends right now. <laughs> it sounds like it does matter because you were at Mr. Blame- Joey Blamiani. <laughs> okay. Well, it feels good. It's everyone's fault but fucking mine. <laughs> I will say if it was Adam. St- I, I, I'm with you, Adam. Because you, uh, let's decision. just let's remind everyone you've blown it many times on meal calls. Many times. Listen, I feel I like honestly I've... think anything you could eat when it's this hot. I mean, it's brutal. It's you go outside a and cold, feels like a cold meal. It feels uh, what's like a cold it feels meal? like having a your face pissed on. Yeah, or not Actually, even pissed on, like a, good. like a woman's just like just like uh, venting, like a yeah. gas out of her, like a fat. A fat, smelly pussy gas. Yeah, and our hot piss. Well, folks, the only way to describe the humidity levels out today (laughs) is like a fat pussy gas hissing (laughs) in your face. Okay, uh, that's the weather for... It's going to be bad. And we're going live to uh, uh, Mario Gisantes with the traffic report. Right. Thanks, Megan. I'm fucking gay, and I suck my (laughs) my penis. Okay, we're back in studio. (laughs) And... Yeah. And we said it feels like a fat woman's pussy, so to actually give you guys a demonstration, we are going to put our faces when we come back from right break, by a couple fat ladies. We've got gashes. a local woman that's been going around to school showing children her fat pussy <laughs> and some tricks she can do with it. <laughs> she's, she's doing gonna, it to teach them about global she's warming. She's going to show us some of those before she heads to uh, 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 John Rocket Elementary School. Nice. To show her pu- her pussy her pussy uh, out to the children. Through the baseball pitcher? No, that's John um, Rocker. Oh, Rocker, that's what you who said. had some insights on what it's like to, to live to, in New York City. I was trying to think, think of it. Right, I was tr- <laughs> I was trying to think of the name of a segregationist, and what popped into my head was Johnny Rockets. Johnny oh. Rockets, yep. Used to be one of my favorite restaurants. As a child. That's a fucking bad choice. Mm-hmm. I love that. Strom Thurmond. That's who I wanted. Strom, Strom Thurmond. I was just thinking about Johnny Rockets. Segregationist ass Strom Thurmond with some secret black pussy on the side. Secret black pussy. A tale as old as time. Mm-hmm. 
Secret black pussy. Secret black pussy. Dun, dun. <laughs> I love that song. I would love to. A movie called Secret Black Pussy, and it's like mm. maybe a hot black girl that's James Bond. Fat gay faggot, but I'm bummed. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Why is you? Why are you singing that? That's a song. That's just a song about a guy. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Why? Why are you getting so? I'm just curious. Why are you getting so? Why are defensive? beads of sweat? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not sweating. Why yeah. are beads of sweat? I'm not sweating. I was the only one who dressed sensibly. I have a cut off shirt. It really? That's and I have shorts. That was because a, Nick that was did. A, Nick did promise us no walks. He said we have work to do today. No long walk in the middle of well, the day. Well, we didn't go on a long walk. It was the last walk was. We were planning on a long walk. Last walk was what uh, Claire Danes might call a walk to remember. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I think that was Mandy Moore. I think it was Omar uh, Sh- Omar oh. Sharif mm-hmm. and Claire uh, Geraldo. Claire Geraldo. Mm-hmm. A hot little teen starlet from the 2000s. Yeah, she was great at Rose. I think it was Omar Monday and Julia Smells. Yeah. Julia Smells is one of those female comics. Julia Stiles does seem like out of all those ladies, she has the smelliest. Isn't there a girl named Julia (laughs) Smells that does comedy in Brooklyn? I don't believe so. I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. Julia Smells? Yeah. No, I don't think so. She's got a master's degree. She's really, she's changing the way people think about comedy. Yeah. Yeah, with her. I haven't met her. Set is her just doing the New York Times crossword. Yeah, I don't know her. Julia smells. Yeah, <laughs> she's deconstructing the genre. Yeah. You're deconstructing my penis. That means I'm not doing it. No, you're doing it in a new and interesting way. Oh, okay. Well, you've got my balls in your throat, and you've got and you're licking my dick. I'm sort of sitting. I'm sitting on you. So I'm the, upside so you're, down. You're uh, laying down. And I'm dipping. You're sucking my balls like they're a mm. cock, but you got them all the way down. You've kind of you've actually swallowed them. Well, sorry, dude. You you're swallowed my get... balls. No, you're gonna throw them up eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got your balls. But... <laughs> you got my balls. And got your balls. Ah, ah, and but your tongue is licking my cock. Yeah. And then eventually you're gonna throw my balls up, and then I'm gonna rub the saliva. Yeah. You you got a whole way to do it. When an adult did that, got your nose thing to me for the first time, it really pissed me off as a kid. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? I never believed it for a second. I, I never fell for it. But I I'm like, why are you, why you lying second. to me right now? You believed You're, it. Uh, no. You both I mean, believed it. I got scared for a, little, for a second. Both split believed second. what? The you got your nose thing. No, I didn't believe that shit. Yeah, you did. I was a yeah, fucking stupid like you. No. No, you are stupid. I wasn't smart. I wasn't stupid. I was smart. No, you, you were stupid. No, I was smart as a baby and I'm dumb now. No. You're still a baby now and you're as dumb as you no, were as a baby. I'm not. I was a smart baby and I'm a dumb man. No. What kind of shit were you doing as a baby? I was talking at eight months. Thank you very much. You really? Yes. Mm-hmm. And everyone's like, "Look who's talking." He's like, "Oh, she's kisses." Uh, <laughs> uh, Hungry. Tra- Milano <laughs> Tucuman <laughs> talk. Uh, Tahoe. <laughs> Sasalito. Pepperidge Farm. Yeah. That's how I saw. He won all the geography contests mm-hmm. as a kid because I learned. Because he learned via, via Pepperidge Farm. <laughs> yeah, you knew all the, all all the, the animal nice. crackers. I was a very verbal baby. You were. In Greek, though. I didn't speak English until I was like three or four. Really? What words? What, what other words did you know? What other words? Yeah. What was your first word? Oh, probably mom. I don't fucking know. Well, you just said you were speaking. I would imagine if you were speaking, you would remember what you were saying. You, yeah. Do you remember what you said ten years ago? Yes. yes. What? Your first I'm gay. Ten years ago, the people don't need health care. <laughs> uh, if they want it, they can work for it. Mm-hmm. Ron Paul is a faggot on that neutrality, but everything else, <laughs> especially the anti-war mm-hmm. stuff, I'm tired of I'm tired of Americans having to die for Israel. Right. Yeah. And in there, you were part of the Ron Paul revolution. And in the end, there is the one bit of consistency. Right. Yeah, ten yeah. years ago, I remember saying something like, "You'll never be able to find me, so the allegations will never surface." Mm. But now I'm terrified. You think because the internet, the democratizing yeah. power of the internet, so now I'm you'll be held accountable for your rape. Come out did as Adam rape. So now I've come out as queer to mm. uh, deflect from the yeah. allegations. Queer which me yet now. To... Queer me now. <laughs> queer me now. Fuck me, asshole. <laughs> Fuck me on the asshole. <laughs> Queer me now, man. Queer me now. Queer me now. 
That's cool. Yeah. Well, you know, whatever. And As what baby, were the allegations? <laughs> the allegations were that I that I helped a, a struggling family find a new house. No, and okay. they said, how could we let people know? He was know? a surrogate mother. <laughs> and he killed, I carried he killed the baby by letting somebody blow his ass out <laughs> while he was... That's not physically possible on yeah. two fronts. He was nine months ass. He was incubating <laughs> a baby in his, his ass. Yeah, for cash. And wow. then he fucking... For a rich, childless family. Mm. That's awesome. It's true. You. It's true. You could probably incubate a baby in an ass. Don't they have those machines now? That's what gay guys are doing now. And they're lactating. Really? Well, it's true. Gay guys were lactating before they could have babies, but now... Were they? If you get cummed in and... Gay guys uh, breastfeed each other. <laughs> it's one of their favorite things to do. Can you breast my penis? <laughs> That's a fucking awesome question. Can you shit my penis ass? Oh, man. <gasps> the lab rogue <rugged> Josh. <laughs> mm-hmm. He got me sleepier than a has motherfucker. Any, has anyone pointed that out that they they got a Joe Rogan dish? Yeah, the, uh, Indian restaurant. Yep. Yeah, Indian guys are really into the experience. It's like what the hell? What the hell is next? Uh, Lamb Louis C K. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, Josh. 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 Lamb, yeah. Lamb Louis C K. Josh. <laughs> Lamb, <laughs> Lamb Joey Coco Diaz. Josh. Josh. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell is yeah. next after that? Fucking uh-huh. chicken. Uh, Chicken Ira Jerry Glass. Seinfeld. <laughs> mm-hmm. What uh, do we got? We're doing podcasts. Why are we? Oh, you're doing comedian. I, yeah, I said Louis C.K. I it's know. I was. I. You weren't paying attention. I fucked up the bit again. No, guys. no, it's fine. I was going podcast. Nick went more traditional comedian. Just yeah. believe in yourself, Adam. It's okay. All right, I'm gonna. Well, uh, is that weird? How any, anybody named Armstrong always becomes famous for something? That's Lance true. So Armstrong, fucking true. Louis uh-huh. Armstrong. That is so it's, motherfucking it's true. It's like the Armstrong <laughs> curse. Yeah, yeah. They just guys. want to have a private life. You're you know? basically destined for some kind of fame, either bicycle, mm-hmm. a trumpet, or being an astronaut. And guess what, guys? Getting we can your nut chopped off and we, fucking Cheryl Crow. Yeah. We can say this as three successful famous guys. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah. Yeah. Very it's true. not. It's not so fun mm-hmm. to I, be an Armstrong. I heard. Le- yeah. Would I wish for Adam to get the HIV virus for my birthday last year. Yeah, and be careful what you wish for, Nick, yeah. because is that what you did right before you blew out the candles? Mm-hmm. Well, now you said it, dude. It lost now it's power. not going to come true. I know. Well, I was. I had a time frame. I was oh. doing magical thinking. <laughs> oh wow. Mm-hmm. You know, you hear that shit? Magical thinking. Yeah. Oh. It's just like how women's brains work, I guess. Yeah, yeah. What's magical thinking? They're like, if I go on a diet for three weeks, he's going to call me back. I'm going to get the job. If I Is that just manifesting? Um, yeah, well, when a man manifests something, it's different than magical thinking. Okay. Yeah. Manifesting is like sort of like a will to form or a will to power. Like you bend the, the world to your desires. Yeah, it's, it's the strength of your mind. Hold on, what did? How did Benito Mussolini des- describe fascism? <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested. Yeah, it's history. His you know? well, his girl was like a fucking hot bitch, right? He got a hot bitch. I think so. So that was the difference between him and an and old him. Adolf. Yeah, Hitler wanted to fuck his fucking child niece or whatever, or cousin or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mussolini girlfriend. Yeah. I I, th- I think I saw a picture like his grand. How about uh, how about a guy named Bruce Olini? Yeah. Okay. He's like, uh, I have a do the do- karate. <laughs> oh, that's good. I do a karate and uh, help a Hitler with the karate. <laughs> Oh his, damn! Never his, mind. His bitch wasn't that fine. Oh, never mind. Uh, now I'll I don't like back. him again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, I don't like. Ooh, women. there's some not chill pictures of what happened to her. She got her. She got her pussy slammed. No, her whole body was kind of hung upside down. Her body oh, is busted. Yeah, she's got a busted body. <laughs> um, how's the new camping chair, Adam? The new camping chair is just as comfortable as the old one. But I got a new one that's now arrived at my house, but which is this padded. Sh- this shit glamping. Oh wow! Yeah. So I was really benefiting my. I really, t- I really pooped. Uh, you pooped. You shitted your it way was up. A deliberate poop. Yeah. No. Don't to get try a nicer this. Chair. What's the difference between glamping and camping? 
You have like nicer stuff there, maybe PS5. I yeah. don't understand the difference between the two. Camping, you're just outside in a fucking little dick ass tent. Bugs are sucking on your dick and shit. Sucks. That sounds like being bad at camping. Yeah. No, nah, dude. T- any camping, you're just in a tent. No, camping is like you're being like real efficient with what you're taking. Your it's meal. like poor shit. Glamping is like there's electricity. Yeah. You got an RV, maybe. They got that. What's that game? And where what's you R- RV stand for? Recreational vehicle. Really? Yeah. Hmm. What do you think it's stood for? Uh, oh, okay. There's retard. There's uh, retard vagina. Retard vagina. Uh, that's what I thought he was gonna say. Um, there's retard virgin. There's uh, speaking of uh, retard virgin, they had to cancel the Virgin Atlantic flight to, really? to space. How come? Um, <laughs> because you're gay. <laughs> what the <laughs> what fuck? The hell? Beca- is, come on, uh, man. Yeah, yeah that's I don't. Well, well, I didn't want to say anything. Uh, but are you fucking serious right no, now? He's, yeah. No, he's not being serious. Stop. Am I on. really gay? Come on, just look through that. Come on. Am I actually it. gay and that's we've the reason they have to that. fucking no, cancel we've been, this shit? We do this joke all the time. All I, but is that true? But it's not why they had to cancel a space flight. You weren't even on the I thought the, the space plane. flight happened. You weren't on it. Because mm-hmm. yeah, they plugged in the directions to the moon and they realized it was actually going to your house. I don't understand why <laughs> they do that. How? <laughs> what, did they got Google Maps for a fucking space flight? Uh, Yeah. And yeah. it got confused and was going to go to my house. It was going to go to your house. Dude, too, let me guess. I'm as round as the moon and as big. Yeah, uh, and it was because your gravity pulled the directions in that direction. I wish my gravity... Because t- you know what? People say that about fat people. I would love it if, like, a hot bitch got pulled into my gravity. Mm-hmm. And then wow. I just pull, yeah. pull my weenus out. <laughs> your elbow? No, my dick. Mm-hmm. Your weenus is your elbow skin, bro. Nice, dude. You feel good about that? Yeah, that's like a little kid thing to know. Mm-hmm. That was pretty meanest of you, Adam. I wasn't being and now mean. Now I'm gonna fuck your to anus. talk about Stav's, Stav's tiny penis. My, no, I'm saying about the size of my dick. I'm just telling you, which I is use normal. That word for, to refer tiny, to his tiny, tiny penis. classic. Yeah, yeah, my dick is a fucking classic miniature. My my penis is a tiny dancer, no, no. like a Hershey's kiss. That's how they describe Stav's dick often. No one just described it that like way. Like a Hershey's kiss. <laughs> so you balance the top of Tootsie Roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at least we're getting closer now. <laughs> at least I got a little more girth. <laughs> or I guess length. Length. <laughs> that gives you some, like, not a lot of girth. Like a little, like, uh, a little, like, uh... Tootsie Roll minis. Yeah, like a plain No, a regular figurine. Tootsie Roll. Mm-hmm. Don't even try it. In fact... You know what it is? It's the big Tootsie Rolls that they give you on Halloween. No, guys. And I, we've gone too far. <laughs> I found we out about it. shot, and the description is now completely incorrect. No, it's completely correct. And it's wrong. I found out about a new f- food that they're selling. I went what? to the movies. They're called Pop-Tarts Minis. It's not bad. you. Dude, not I you. I came up with the idea for that not years you. ago. What do you mean not Old. You? Everybody it's knows about it. It's a bite-sized pop Everybody knows about that, Adam. I just found out. That's what snacks are. You don't You don't even fucking keep abreast of snack technology. You're going to come here I thought it was tell a us new what advan- I thought it was are? a cool advancement that I just wanted to share with you guys. And Nick apparently came up with that idea. When? I remember there was an Oreo, when Oreo's minis came out. I remember that. There was a commercial with a little boy where he's in school and they put it in his hand and he's looking at the size of the Oreo in his hand and he runs home from school and like measures himself against the wall to see what he And if there's a way to edit that commercial, so it's a little boy like looking at his hand, he's like, <gasps> and then you see him like run home and he's running to the kitchen and he just like quickly grabs the ruler off the counter <laughs> yeah, and then yeah, he like yeah. runs into the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. It's like Oreos minis. It'll make you think your dick, your dick is, will look huge. It'll make you think your dick is bigger. You could put one of them on the top of your dickhead and it'll look, look like you're look down gigantic. in packages of Oreo minis for two free tickets to see Harry Potter the Sorcerer's Stone. <laughs> Stop. When's the last time you legitimately measured your penis? I don't know, man. It's well, been a while. I yeah. The last time I went to the doctor, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in health insurance. Yeah, in that's true. Days. They should make you put that on your ID. Dick size? Yeah. No, they shouldn't. 
Well, it's all kind Some of... Some things It's all primate. shit that, like, women ask, like, your height or your eyes. Well, let him color. fucking wonder. No. There let should it... be a couple of guy fellow questions for the guys on the ID. Oh, so the guys are the ones who want to know how big your dick is? Yeah. No, it's the girls. The fu- who the fuck... Who's at random messaging you? It's yes. all guys. It's always the fellas. What do you mean? It's, it's always See my guys. dick? Yeah. Yeah. I've never gotten a guy asking. Well, I mean, I guess no, I've gotten uh, a couple. You're out of your mind. Well, I guess I kind of just want to oil you up and roll you around like a big old, <laughs> like a big old butterball. <laughs> In a, <laughs> a sexual manner, is that what you're saying? Uh, have, make, uh, make Thanksgiving dinner, <laughs> I guess, in the bedroom. Is what they call it. That's true. What they call it. Look, they want to see my dick, but you play, know, play pilgrims and Indians. And so you're saying you gay up, men playing the first playing the first <laughs> dinner, playing first Thanksgiving, play, play a little Plymouth Rock. Yeah. And I'm the dinner, my yeah. ass or and, my dick, and, and they're balls. basting. You're, you're a nice hot roll. They want to split you open, have some steam coming off. Yeah, piece okay. of big big old piece of Hawaiian king's bread. Oh, so good, so damn good. That's Hawaiian bread. Well, girls may not ask because they don't have the. Oh, good lord. You know what they would ask about is taking a pill, uh, a dick tablet, chewable by the good, chewable dick tablet, bluechew dot com, home yep. of chewables. I love chewables. And I'll tell you what, folks, if you're new to the show and you're you've been I mean, listening for the, the last twenty time. minutes, and you're like, this is one of the funniest things. I've ever <laughs> How can I support <laughs> this show? <laughs> you I it. need to give I these to, guys these money. These guys, I need to They're know. working for I it. I need to they're, give them this money is, this and is, their sponsors I, money. I'll tell you what. I saw the fucking Beatles mm. with fucking Social Distortion live. Wow. Well, uh, no way. At, Where were you post pavilion? At Carnegie Hall, fucking January 87, 1977. <laughs> really? And that, I'll tell you. What was the this show? Sh- like? What? It was it a good show? It was I mean it's historical. Yeah. It's one of, it's it's probably the crowning achievement of my life. A guy that's been living in a rent controlled apartment on the upper west side since <laughs> nineteen fifteen. <1915. laughs> when I was a part of the free love movement by going right. by seeing Bob Dylan all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And dressing yep. like Bob Dylan and pretending I was Bob Dylan. And not yep. And carrying a guitar around that's to hit on women. Getting a, a little guy. pussy but not enough. And getting getting that's a very that. little amount of pussy that in my senior citizen years I've convinced myself is a lot. Yeah. <laughs> With every year and with more people that have died, mm. I embellish how much I used to And now my entire life is just creeping people out on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Posting pictures of pictures that are clearly framed yeah. <laughs> in my house. Framed Polaroids in my house. Yes, you can see the fucking reflection coming off the fucking yeah. glass. And I saw that and I listened to this show and I said... I listened to the first 20 minutes of the show and I said, these guys... <laughs> It reminds me of fucking Dylan and McCartney in concert together. <laughs> yes. Corona Park, 1977. <laughs> Social Corona Park. I went with my girlfriend at the time. She's half Puerto Rican, 75, about 95% Jewish, but she had a tan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And well, uh, Puerto Rican style. Di- Diane, Diane Feinstein. I used to call her Feinstein Steast. <laughs> Diane Feinstein. <laughs> Feinstein. That, that Feinstein. hot piece of pussy. Yeah, Feinstein Steast. <laughs> yeah. And we went together and. Uh, <laughs> And and I never I never fucked her. I never <laughs> never got. How long were you guys dating? And we went. Uh, we How went, long you guys date? We were going steady for a while. You were going with her. I sp- I'd, um that year my father died. I inherited thirty five hundred dollars, and she took all of it. <laughs> and that was a summer of love. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the and, only thing that makes me feel remotely like that feeling uh, is going to bluechew dot com. To buy chewable tablets. To make my dick hard. To make my dick hard. And I look at that Polaroid of me outside of... <laughs> young Dyer me, Feinstein. Me outside of the Bob's Big Boy in uh, Asbury Park, New Jersey, <laughs> with the man I thought was, uh, was Bruce Springsteen's manager. But, but it, it was, wasn't. It wasn't. It was, uh, just a, it was just some guy. But, you know, I was basically famous. Yeah. <laughs> you had a moment. That was a moment. You had a real moment. And I went to bluechew.com. And Adam, why don't you do us, why don't you tell us about your experience? 
Um, my experience with uh, chewable tablets. Chewable tablets. Well, yeah. I had a great experience. Chewable cock tablets. Because one of the one of the benefits of BlueChew.com is that there are no in-person doctor visits, and there are a lot of doctors around town that I'm banned from seeing. Actually, right? How come? Because I tried to see them too many times. I was making up ailments. <laughs> but now you're showing each other cool things on the phone. No, just a what woman's was it? name. Don't worry about it, dude. Can just I keep talking it? about the fucking pills. I just fell left out. <laughs> <laughs> they're not pills. They're chewable. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Good uh, job, Adam. And so anyway, there, uh, I was able to have a brief consultation over video conference with a medical professional that BlueChew.com set me up with. Wow. And I was immediately pres- provided with a prescription for sedal- sedalophil and teladophil. Both. Uh, both of no, them. No, you choose one. Or I chose one. If it was right for you. She said, Choo- you want the re- the red pill or the blue pill? <laughs> yep. And I went blue pill. Wow. Yep. Back, send me back. Send me back. But with a hard-ass dick. With a hard-ass <laughs> dick. Send me back. Neo, yep. you can either take the red pill and know what's going on, or the your blue dick will be soft as shit. Or the blue. Or you take, you take the, the red t- pill. Or you join take- me in the real world. Where you take the blue pill. Home. You get a bunch of chubby pussy. <laughs> one of the listen, one mm. of the world's finest delicacies, if you ask me. Yeah, thank you. Little piece of chubby pussy pie. Mm-hmm. Well, it's it's the Ford Model T of yeah. pussy. Mm-hmm. Classic. The, the pussy for the middle class. <laughs> That's right, brother. <laughs> That's absolutely correct. Anyway, so after a brief I'm blue. I'm a blue collar guy, and my dick is a blue tablet kind of. I got dick. I got blued up after a brief consultation. Mm-hmm. The blue and collar comedy been... tour is actually uh it's just they take out it's one of Stav's balls and everyone laughs at it and then his penis and then they laugh at it. <laughs> and then they laugh at his other ball. Where's Why? the collar part? And he's Why wearing is that a, a sh- he's wearing it's a shirt. A blue shirt. It's a blue shirt. Kind of a best buy uniform. And it's all at blue chew <laughs> dot uh What the hell? At blue chew dot com. Are you dot serious? Com. Yeah. Um and after I don't remember that. after taking these chewable tablets, I have received no complaints in the bedroom. Afterwards, I have received a couple of suspicious text messages from lovers of mine. That's but same. in the bedroom, they no say, What complaints. the hell? Were you thinking of a man again? What your dick hell? was fully hard. What the hell? Okay, is going that's a mean, on that's a rude, that's a rude impression. <laughs> it's me, your boyfriend <laughs> from <That's> hell. <laughs> <laughs> your boyfriend, <laughs> Satan. That's scary. Yes. I mean, I have had... You filled my ass too good, Adam. Yeah, it's true. I have been topping Satan much like Saddam Hussein in the South Park movie. Right. Yep. Uh, And we've been having fantastic sex. That's awesome. Thanks to the chewable tablets. But it's only thanks to the chewable tablets provided to me from BlueChew.com. I love them myself. And if you love sex... You'll love, love BlueChew.com. BlueChew.com. All three of the hosts of this show get their dicks hard artificially with the help of BlueChew. Mm-hmm. And if you want to be like us, which we know, you want to be like us. For some reason, you do. For some. Then go to BlueChew.com and use promo code CUMTOWN or CUMTOWN20 mm-hmm. or, or go to go.bluechew.com, I believe. Slash, slash CUMTOWN. CUMTOWN. Did you tell them about the no in person doctor? Yep. Visits? Adam yeah, he's yeah, very it's... adamant about that. And was... did you tell him about second chance financing? <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't tell him about didn't that. No, you could put because your dick thought, pills on layaway. Yeah. I thought oh, you yeah. guys would make fun of me for talking that way on the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we would have. Listen, there are no gimmicks, there's no tricks, there's no. I'm getting. Should we eat podcasts with our eyes closed for the yeah. rest of it? I think we should. I'm getting. Honestly, this fucking. We had that samosa. <laughs> I might need a fucking nap. I, I'm starting to get into it, thinking about that old, that old guy, looking at his penis. Who? <laughs> what old guy? The old guy with the big go dot blue dot com. No, the guy going to see uh, the Stones. Oh, that guy. Oh, yeah, that that's guy's a new. Awesome. I I like that guy. That's a because it's you. I saw the Stone well, Temple me Pilots if I was from a Corona, different generation. January January 15th, 1969. <laughs> mm-hmm. Scott Whalen. Scott Whalen. Yeah. Actually was... scratch that it was Velvet Revolver. Slash was there. Yeah. I saw Scott Whalen. I asked myself a question. What if Slash and Scott Whalen were in the same band together? And I think someone from Rage Against the Machine maybe. Who else was in It's Re- hard to say. Velvet Revolver. I, I believe remember. it was just Stone Potato Pots and Guns N' Roses members. 
What was the Rage Against the Machine side project? Audio Slave. Audio Slave. Oh, that's right. Adam. I'm a dumbass. I'm sorry. I'm mixing up super groups. Adam. I'm mixing up late 90s, early 2000s super groups. And you should remember Audio Slave because you are you were in a band called Penis Slave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. And it was just you and in it the was, band. It was, it was a combination of the groups Rage Against Being Straight <laughs> <laughs> and Penis Garden. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, guys? Rage against me. You know, like, we feel like we penis guard. <laughs> we feel like we you were run in bo- out. And jokes. by the way, you were in both <laughs> of those bands yeah. too. Yeah, and, well. the, and the band members were you, Tom. More penis, please. <laughs> um, it was, it was uh, Chris Horniel Horn- for penis, for penis. <laughs> and Zach Della Penis. And mm-hmm. uh, no, he was not in Audio Slave. All right, man. I thought it was different. I'm sorry. Man. I think we, you know, it's fine, dude. I wasn't. The point is, you were in Penis Slave. All right. <laughs> and the penis, important thing to remember penis yeah. is that you and were it's in Penis Cock Slave. Cock de la Saka. <laughs> mm-hmm. Cock de la Saka. That's you. Yeah. I'll suck on your dick. It's in the famous songs. Uh, like I'm gay. Uh, uh,. Bulls in my ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My dick's ball. I'm yeah. gay. Fuck my ass. I'm gay. Sucking in the name of. <laughs> That's you. Uh, power <laughs> bottom. <laughs> power bottom. I won't great. lick on a pussy. Yeah. I won't lick on a pussy. I won't lick on a pussy. I like to suck a man's hard cock. Gay he real, fucks in gay my gay ass. Radio. Yep. Yeah, great gay Rilla radio. That's yeah. pretty good. Um, sleep now in a guy's bed. It's on fire. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, That was a little bit of a... uh, There's uh, you reaching... For a guy's cock. Into a cookie jar filled with (laughs) cum. Yep. And flecks of cock. Uh, Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Not flecks of cock. Flecks of shit. Yeah. Because the guy shit out the cum. Why don't people just learn how to dose fentanyl? What do you mean? What's nice about it? Is it fun to take? It's an opiate. Yeah, I guess so. Here's the thing. Most... Drugs aren't fun to take, really. Once you're old, I thought uh, fentanyl then it just becomes a necessity. I thought fentanyl, even if you have a little, you just die. Or is that what is that what the the liars at the anti fentanyl? Uh, how about how about the, instead of fentanyl, it's the United Colors of Fentanyl. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice little pre callback. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you'll good. you'll hear that one in ooh, let's say about five and a half weeks. <laughs> I'll suck on your dick. United Colors of Benton. Like Bentonal. a plum. Mm-hmm. I'll get my ass fucked. Right, uh, it, it, it's an alone. English muffin. And it's an English blumpkin. Okay. And that's mm. while a, where a woman eats your ass while you're pissing. Mm. Yeah, and you're like, so you have to, you have to like straddle the toilet with your ass out in the air and you piss while she eats your ass. So you're you're sort of bent over. No, you're kind of like and you're angling your dick towards the. You're bowl. you're straddling the toilet reverse. Reverse like a cool teacher. Like a cool teacher. <laughs> yeah. And then you're but you're leaning forward to pu- push your ass out. I see. I see. And mm. then your dick is probably completely submerged, <laughs> submerged in the water. <laughs> yeah. That's hot. That's awesome. And you're you're jet streaming into the water while that your must ass feel is cool. Going. And that's the English uh, blumpkin. Now, let me ask you about the English blumpkin. Are you worried? Because yes. we've all been there when we're pissing. Sometimes so we f- want to make sure we don't make this a regular thing, Miss <laughs> Monopenny. <laughs> hey, James. Aren't you afraid you would fart in her mouth, or is that part of it? That's part of it. <laughs> yeah, like when you're pissing and farting. Yeah, because once you good, let... You know what stuff people say sometimes? That guy's not a feminist. No you one thought, says that. You I'm thought a, about it. You thought no one about says that. that. You know? Just Everyone what knows. if in case you fart into the lady? Everyone mouth. knows I'm basically fucking Susan B. Anthony. Or, uh, what did she do? Mm-hmm. No, she made the flag. Fuck. N- no. Who's the suffrage bitch? That was Dolly. Are you sure not Susan M. and Anthony? Susan M. and Anthony? That is who I am. I just remembered. Yeah. I'm How about Susan, Susan Opie and Anthony? That'd be cool. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 With them, like fucking, uh, 
They're like, uh, women should be able to vote, stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, Every uh, hole should get to vote. Yeah, women, why don't you let women vote? F- stupid. Yeah. yeah, you goofy bitch. Yeah. That's good. Mm-hmm. That would be pretty good. Is she the suffrage person? No, Susan B. Anthony remember. made the flag. Who did suffrage? Susan I thought Betsy beat, Ross, did, beat Betsy off Ross of did the flag. Susan beat off of me. The best thing Susan a beat woman off of did me. until losing to Donald Trump, the only thing they ever did was probably make a flag. I think that's the flag's that's, not that good. I think it's an all right flag. I like the look of it. It's fine. The Don't tread on me thing would have been cooler. The snake. It's a badass flag. How about a snake and it says, "Don't insert me into your ass." <laughs> <laughs> we need those for pride. Yeah. No one talks about how harmful snake pride is for the snake population. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're they're not meant. Just they're being, them they're them. constantly being shoved up mm-hmm. hot ass dudes' butts, breastfeeding mm-hmm. each other. There's like, a guy going down the street like, Woo! <laughs> there's just a snake, a dangling. python. <laughs> you just it's like its tail is slowly <laughs> losing animation <laughs> as it dies in his ass. Well, you know what? That's what snake. Honestly, on the they're other, like, the what are you doing side? to that snake? And they're like, the gerbil got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of the old lady that swallowed a fly? <laughs> uh, fuck. Damn. God, be awesome. Have you ever had to put a snake in your ass to get the dribble out, Adam? Um, no, that's never been a problem that I've... But I do think that's a pretty creative solution to that issue. Yeah, it probably is, isn't it? Dude, you know what's so hard to find? Uh, your penis? No. In your pants? No. Yes. I'm looking at it right now. Fuck. A Blu-ray copy of To Live and Die in L.A. You can't stream it anywhere, and I really want to see that movie. You should just torrent it. I guess I should. I should get back into torrenting. Is the Pirate Bay still up? Yeah. It is? I think. Damn, I miss Private Trackers. I remember when I was... Uh, the, the Steal Everything lifestyle. Ooh. Yeah. My teeth just started hurting real bad. <laughs> Indian food was a mistake. No, Adam. it wasn't a mistake. Now you're trying to get so much mileage out of this. Like, I was ra- I was the one that... Oh, shut the fuck up. I was... Guys, <laughs> isn't it true that If it was, was me, was, if it was me, there would be true, hell to pay. That's true, but we've covered that, Adam. 90 and I even, day I even Indian so food. much... Stop. How do you think this is pronounced? <laughs> <laughs> What is it? Nick's Don't been, worry Nick's about been on it. Tinder laughing at girls' names <laughs> yeah. for the whole sh- did literally the entire show. Before the show, <laughs> Nick's he, been was swiping yelling, for the he was yelling at their profiles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dating, it's man. funny that now it's SJW where when it used to be bourbon. Do you remember mm-hmm. that? Girls used to say they liked bourbon and travel. Mm hmm. Travel, sure. Now yeah. they're all now they're all communist. If you're not a communist, swipe left. If you don't want to defund the police, I think it's also where you're swiping. Come to Queens. Nobody's a fucking communist in Queens. Yeah, everyone mm. wants. Well, to you're pass also the blue. on fat Tinder, which is different. I'm not. I'm on regular <laughs> Tinder. Yeah, I'm on regular Tinder. I fucked a few not fat girls off there. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 I fucked a handful of not fat girls mm-hmm. off regular Tinder. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <Fat hand. laughs> uh, they should, should make a riot for fat people. No, they should not. Famous fat Actually, people. Actually, you know what? I'm in. I don't give a fuck. Mm, yeah. be I'd be the cock of the walk in there, dude. And it's bri- Briar's ice cream. Briar's ice cream. You wouldn't. Ma- no, you can't match with ice cream. It'd be you, you Don DeLuise. He's dead. Dom DeLuise. Um... The guy that plays Zach Galifianakis' mom Dumbledore. in Baskets. No, that's too old. What's his name? Um, <sighs> fuck. How am I forgetting his name? The guy with the buck teeth. Yeah, that guy's funny. Yeah. Uh, buck Rogers. Yeah. yeah. Buck Angel. Buck, buck Angel. Angel. <laughs> buck Angel's not fat. Well, Buck Angel's let, let himself go. Really? I don't know. I Is he gotten know. fat? That'd be yeah, so funny. Buck fun. Angel's no, f- looks a like fat you. guy with a pussy. <laughs> First of all, Buck Angel looks like you before before you grew the hair out. That's, thank you. Yeah. So he's still sexy as fuck. I have to say, and we've mentioned this before. The first time 
you Google Buck Angel naked on Google Images. It's one of the most amazing things you ever see. I agree. I agree with that. Does Buck not want a cock? Buck? Yeah. I don't know. His guess, name is Buck, and he he came to fuck. At this point, I guess he could have gotten a cock if he wanted one. Yeah. Some people don't want a fresh cock. Well, shout out to him, to Buck. Buck Angel's an American pornographic film actor, producer, sex educator, and motivational speaker. <laughs> Should we hire him? Mm-hmm. A motivational speaker. <laughs> yeah. This is the little like the little tiny microphone with the fingers tended being like, get your penis <laughs> cut off. Say it with me. G Y P Y P C O Gipipico. What do you What's know? that stand for? Get your penis cut off. And where can you get it cut off? Uh and where can you stop? Do you want to let us do you want to do the honors? I or? don't know. Which Where can you? I don't. I'm not sure which. At cushydreams.com. <laughs> <com. laughs> <laughs> you can get your penis <laughs> cut off <laughs> at Buck Angel, the Grim Reaper of penises, <laughs> the Penis Reaper. <laughs> well, Buck always never had a cop. Yeah, but why would that be yeah. Buck's cause? Oh, uh, no, Buck's got a pussy. I'm sorry, now yeah, I got to rewatch the thin blue his line. Pussy. Yeah. Why? why? I don't know, but I'm just uh, it just struck me, and now that's what's happening in my mind. That's cool. Yeah, you, you, you listen. You rewatch it real fast. Uh, we'll talk about how you can get your cock chopped off of cushydreams.com. Cushydreams.com is the premier mm. source of CBD flower and high quality and genital reassignment surgery. That's right. Well, look, a lot of people are taking all these unnatural painkillers. That's true. Nick was talking about fentanyl. Nick, you know, we're talking about all these. These opiates that are ruining us. Well, if you need to get your cock chopped off, you might as well use something from Mother Gaia. Yeah, something that came from the earth where all of the getting high part was taken out of it I, by it scientists. In a lab. <laughs> yeah, scientists took the part. But it's still f- technically from the earth. But it's from the earth, and it's the highest but quality version of it. And it's the highest quality version. And by version the way, what are you, some kind of little bitch that, smoke, that, that fucking takes vape? Or gummies? No, I'm not a bitch. No, not. you smoke that shit you like smoke. a fucking grown up. So you and well, you, you smoke the whole damn pack. That's they, what my father taught me. And what I like about Cushy Dreams is that it does come in packs. You can get the little half gram joints. That's Luxury my favorite. Luxury pre roll joints and extraordinary smokable flower. I love that kind Smell of Smell proof and discreet packaging. Boy, I wish I had that for my penis. That's <laughs> right. Nick's dick is fucking rocking yeah, this place and right now. It's uh it's the the packaging is indiscreet. His dick is just making is fucking making me gag. Every I once don't in a while. I don't bathe, and there's a bunch of it's the permanently attached. To, part of my dick is colored the same color as my underwear from where <laughs> it got glued to my underwear by old cum. Right, and I peeled it off, and so there's. Part of the Adidas logo. And it backwards. smells mm-hmm. horrendous. <laughs> Part of the Adidas logo. Permanently. And there's a juice smile on it. Mm-hmm. Wow. Because my I was feeding my dick juice. <laughs> you were watering your dick with juice. Yeah. And usually I, what I do to and cope with this. I did that at cushydreams.com, by the way. Well, usually what I do to cope with that is just light up and spark a fat. One gram joint of Cushy Dreams. Full flower, full spectrum, full flavor. Available in Create Dream Energy and Hustle. Re- hustle, peace, and relax. Oh, I love peace and relax. I love to spark that shit up. Fucking, fucking. choose your mood, bro. You go here, we got the eight, three, fifth, three, f- three point five g- grams. Oh, grams. oh. Grams, those are just metrics. Grams, yeah. They got an eighth for your ass. One eighth Oz cans of beautiful bud. And you can choose your can. That's my favorite part is (laughs) pressing the button that says choose your can. Mm -hmm. And I go here and it says dream flower. And I click click select strength. And I'm going to put in that I'm basically one of the strongest guys. (laughs) Yeah. That uses this stuff. So choose an an option, ultra premium. And then we're going to leave. There's a number you can add in here. And I'm going to hit the plus button. We're going to max this out. Okay. And see how much. Let's put. Let's see if I if I put a th- one a twelve eighty. Add the cart. You're gonna and you're gonna purchase twelve, one thousand two hundred and eighty, pr- grams. Add the cart. Sorry, three and a half grams. And it says please select some product options. Uh, ultra premium done. Okay. 
That's awesome. Oh, and it's 424 is the amount I'm allowed to add. Okay. So now I have 424 items in my card. Check this out. For only (laughs) $21,200. Using promo code, we're going to go to checkout right now. What does it go down to? Oh, what's that? What what's that twenty one thousand go down to after promo? Let's see here. Where's the promo code? Where's your order postal code? I don't see where. I can't wait till you accidentally buy twenty one thousand dollars for the CBD. Yeah. Oh, have a code. Click here to enter your code. When what is it? Come town. Come town twenty. Or is it? Come I think it's just come town. Come town. Apply coupon. Coupon code applied successfully. Let's see. Coupon. Oh, here we go. How Tw- much? Uh, cu- coupon come town. It removes four thousand two hundred and four. That's a great oh. fucking deal. Yeah. You hear that, folks? You wow. get you, that I just woke check me this up. Out. I just I just found a way to get four thousand dollars <laughs> worth of weed for free. Yeah, yeah. Wait, weed it doesn't get you. It's high. essentially it. Basically for free. four thousand dollars just by using our promo code. And, the, and you can turn around and you can sell that four thousand dollars. <laughs> you chop it up and sell it as the half gram pre rolls. <laughs> we told. Mm-hmm. To do this last week, you oh, <laughs> did we? <laughs> yeah, I just remembered. Uh, or maybe I we think that was with Kratom. Well, we're yeah, it was with Kratom. <laughs> yeah, we're businessmen now. We're yeah. business this is part of the Buck Angel business strategy. <laughs> yeah, if you take get our your seven, bu- get, your, get your bussies out and bust. At, That's right. Cushy yeah. dreams dot bussy. Cushy dreams dot bussy. Cushy dreams dot bussy. And uh, I can't believe this, dude. Four thousand dollars. Wow, I'm winning in the cash flow business. That's so awesome, bro. And you oh. can check it out at cushydreams.com and use the prone code Hometown. And you can join our newsletter to receive 15% off an extra order. New, an email exclusive coupon code. And so another coupon code. And their newsette letter is interesting. The newsette. That's yeah. what they call it. They call it the weed, weed beacon. Most of uh, those newsletters that I'm signed up for, I want to unsubscribe hey, I, from. I don't subscribe to the cruise letter. <laughs> No. Mm-hmm. And it's all about finding no, guys late not. at night at the park. No, but, it's uh, not. Man. You are subscribed. No, to that, it's about carnival cruises, Norwegian cruises. It's about different cruises you can go no. on, and America's back open for business. And I no. want to learn about the different options that we have. Mm-hmm. I like getting That's stuff not on a boat. What it is about. I like being on a boat. Yeah, no. with other straight. You get there. You're closer. If only other straight guys. You go on a little rowboat filled with gay guys, and they fuck you in the ass. Mm-hmm. You yeah. go to the little boat in Central Park, and you say it's international waters. I'm not gay here. Yeah. And then you get your ass fucked in that little rowboat. That's right. And you're like international waters. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, and listen, you know, you buy cushy dreams, but also you go to. You should fucking buy some. Some shirts at Stavi.biz. And buy some tickets to my upcoming tour. Uh, fucking, it's about to kick off. Patreon.com slash Cometown to find about the exclusive access to information on where the shows that will be. That is not... You can go to Stavi.biz slash tour for access as well if you don't have the Patreon. And uh, we're going to be in Portland, Seattle, Utah... Fucking uh, Minneapolis, Denver, San Antonio. I might try and add some other Texas dates. I've added New Orleans, Cleveland, Phoenix, Madison, Detroit. That's that's that sounds good. Tampa, some of the best cities I know. And Boston, Boston. And I'm working hard to keep adding shows throughout the beginning of next year. But come out and see your boy. Come out and suck my fat little titties, and uh, mm-hmm. or buy just buy a shirt, you know. Yes, and suck a dick also. Absolutely. Try penis if you haven't. What? Try sucking penis if you haven't. At your show? Just in your life. All right. I'll let you know. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to everybody. Okay. Philadelphia cream cheese. Let's get into it. Where do they get the nerve? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so fucking much. Where do they get the nerve? Who do they think they are? As if the, there's a fucking single piece of Philadelphia history or cuisine that would warrant cream cheese. Yeah. Who the fuck wants a bagel from Philadelphia? Not me. Tell me about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How did that even fucking start? Clifford the Big Red Dog? No. No. No, come on. Clifford the Big Dog? Fine. Mm-hmm. Clifford the Red Dog? 
fine. So you think it's too many adjectives? They got too much going on. Mm-hmm. One or the other, folks. Clifford the Little Gay And guy. do they ever explain why the dog is so big? <laughs> no. <laughs> they don't. This is Cuomo's, this is Cuomo's daily press briefing. <laughs> is that still going on? Yeah. Wasn't it like an emergency thing during COVID? No, he's still doing it. He's addicted. He to loves it. it, dude. Yeah. He loves getting doing well, some time. We're going to figure out the right questions to ask regarding the size of the dog. <laughs> is he big or is he red? You can't have both. Mm-mm. Thank you. You have to follow the data. It's so presidential. It's going to be awesome if he if he runs for president. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's going to win by so much. <laughs> we're going to we're going to have we're going to have um, we're going to have we're going to I'm going to suck his dick. <laughs> The dogs, Mr. President? I've, I've won, when I sucked his dick, mm-hmm. and the dog, he kind of came in my mouth. Clifford. Clifford fucked me in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, Jack. <clears throat> Is that so? He's a good dog. He's a good dog. He didn't know what he was doing. And he bent me over and he fucked me in my ass. Fucked my ass. He got, Clifford came over and gave me top. <laughs> <laughs> he said... <laughs> He's a throat uh, coat. Fuck. I wish there was somebody else to talk like. Instead of the same five fucking guys over and over again. What about um, Liza Minnelli? I don't know what she said. <laughs> yeah, you do. You yeah. were doing it before the show at the Indian restaurant. Was I? <laughs> yeah. I think I was just doing the waiter. I was thinking I was trying to speak to him in, in, in his Hindu. native tongue. Yeah, yeah that Hindu. was really embarrassing, dude. Well, I thought I could guess it. It seemed like a guessable <laughs> language. That was English, just in an accent. No, I was like, <laughs> he was like, excuse me, and I was like, <laughs> if you just lower your volume, I listen to them on the phone, mm-hmm. late at night. When, when they're, they're driving a car. When they're driving the car. Taking a quiet phone call. Taking a quiet, sensual phone call. Yeah, That's the worst part. Sound, of, they they have a very sensual they way They sound of romantic. Talking. Yeah, uh, and it's like it's kind of grating. It's usually their brother. Yeah, they're like, you know, I like a tap, I like a tap. They always, <laughs> they always sound like they're licking the other guy's ear. <laughs> <laughs> you think they ever beat off while driving? Yeah. Uh, yeah, for ladies. That's mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah. We've never seen it because we're, we're guys. And they have respect. For girls, though. I feel like... Um, well, New York schools are returning to in-person learning starting June 30th. Isn't it what? summer break? Ending June 30th. Uh. Mm. They're returning... August 31st. And you know what that means, folks? It's time to start thinking about school supplies. Yeah, back right. to school shopping. Um, for protractors. Spiral for notebooks. Spiral trapper notebooks. Keepers. Trapper keepers. A mm. gun for some students. Gun if mm. you didn't get any pussy. And it's time for the world to pay. I watched, that, I watched that interrogation of that Nicholas Cruz kid. Who's that... Uh, the kid that shot up the Parkland school. Damn. It's really embarrassing. What's he talking about? Well, he's just what like, he he's say? like, ah, oh, the, the freaking voices, man. The detective's like, oh, yeah, the voices made you do it. Oh, he's trying, you think he's trying to act crazy? He's trying to act like crazy, but he's saying like, yeah, you know, I mean, it's like watching like Lloyd Christmas get into <laughs> 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 I'm a freaked up guy. I'm messed up, man. <laughs> no, there's a demon, and he tells me what to do. Ugh. The cops like so. What is? I mean, what has he told you to do other than the shooting? That's bad. And he's like nothing. <laughs> Jack off to gay porn. Uh, yeah. Mm. The demon's he's trying to see my penis. He's a bad yeah. boy. Nicholas Cruz. Yeah. Is he in jail? No, they let him out. <laughs> they, let him, they let him skate. Guess what yeah. he's doing now. What principal of the school? He what? got off on a technicality. Yeah. They call it the, the one of the Cosby mysteries. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Damn, Bill's out and about. They should reboot Cosby mysteries, and he, he and Felicia Rashad have to investigate Try. the women that have falsely accused him. <laughs> <of them. laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, they're just pr- they just take each case yeah. each week. It's yeah. a procedural, and they debunk all the, just all the fucking, women's claims. Just Cosby and Felicia Rastad standing in the front in pea coats, and the next to them are like. Ice tea and little boozy and like yeah. detective outfits and Tariq yes. Nasheed. Yeah, Tariq Nasheed. Oh, Ice tea was all with their family f- f- arms crossed. Yeah, and it's Law and Order, Cosby Mysteries. Ice <laughs> tea was pro Bill. Um, no, he's just the crossover from. I see. Yeah, I see. they just okay, had okay. to have one character yeah, from Law and Order <laughs> universe. Yeah. Richard Belzer is also yeah, on the show. Yeah, yeah, Richard Belzer is a big, b- truly believes in Cosby. I've been looking into this E. Jean Carroll woman, and I gotta say, I think she's a lunatic. <laughs> I think this woman might be not so for bust though. Right. Yeah. That's what they used to call him back in the back in the summer of free love. Right. Me, Richard Belzer, my f- back on. My like first year I... in comedy, 1947. <laughs> yep. I did Cat seven skills. open mics, and now I've been on every cop show for the last 400 <laughs> years. That's true. I haven't taken the sunglasses off because I got a corneal tattoo of a swastika while I was drunk. Whoa. I don't know if that's true. It's true. Bell's Nobody true. can see my eyes. Nobody that's can true. See I've never me. seen his eyes. He has the same eyes as Adam. Ew. What do you I mean? Know. Gorgeous eyes? Yuck. Green eyes. No, like a There's little dinosaur. Somewhere my eyes A little being dinosaur. Discussed. It is dinosaur like. Come little, on, man. A that's a great. Th- dude, Stop that's a You really know, that's a trope. That's a trope. Because dinosaurs are lizard like. Whoa, you brought the lizard. You're dude, doing a trope. You're the one that said you look like a Jew lizard monster, man. No, I didn't say, I never said you that. You just <laughs> kind of implied it. You implied it. No, you brought it up by all saying I my said, gorgeous eyes are dinosaurs. All I said is that you're gay and I get more pussy than you. It's not That's possible. The only thing it's I literally said. not possible. Well, how is it not possible? Because I'm in a stable relationship. He does have some fucked up. Yeah, lives. you're in a stable relationship and that you you're visit stab- the stable yeah, to get fucked get in your ass by, by horse. your boyfriend, the horse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That makes you feel by your boyfriend, better, Dream but... Horse. <laughs> no, you get fucked by you dream. Yeah. About I watch dream, dream, dream Horse, Horse, and I say this is touching. No, you watch Dream Horse. It's a, actually, I'm sorry. The Dream Horse is a is a movie about you dreaming about getting fucked. Let's by do a horse. Nick. Let's do a Dream Horse review. What would, so what's the basic plot? You want to want to break that down for us? Yeah, a couple of British people uh, pool their resources. Oh, together. we talked about this movie. Yeah. Oh, they all buy. Let's talk about Secretariat. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I saw War Horse. You're yeah. thinking of Sea Biscuit, not Secretariat. Secretariat was an actual horse. Sea Biscuit. They the made movie. a movie, I think, Secretariat too. When? I don't know. I think they did though. I am thinking of Sea Biscuit though. You're right. Sea Biscuit with Tobey Maguire. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty cool movie. Sounds like a little little cunt biscuit. Yeah, mm. you know, like a little biscuit made out of cum. Remember, yeah, cum. remember that that era. What era? Before the communist ladies in New York, a bunch of women were making food out from of their, their pussies. Yeah, pussy food, bread. Yeah, yeah, cheese and yogurt. All the worst. that wasn't that widespread. No, pretty much it was every like three pretty much every single woman. Yeah. <laughs> in I'm about a company City. called Widespread, and it's, mm. it's cream cheese made by Stop. Yeah. Okay, that's a good it's name. A wise <laughs> man. That on the front. I don't think anyone would think that spreading cream cheese. <laughs> I, you know what? It would be a pussy themed cream cheese. Uh, yeah, spread uh, eagle. Spread eagle. Yeah, it would yeah. be a chick with. Oh, dude, that's the, that's chick. the mascot, the spread eagle. The spread eagle. It's an eagle carrying a little thing of cream mm-hmm. cheese. And he's like, follow your nose. Yeah. You know that there was a school to pussy. <laughs> to pussy. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is a great business. Thank you. Just two can with the whole front of his face and a woman's pussy. And he's like, in here, children. That's how I found it. I found all the kids. Come out. Come look. It's all the way in here at the back of the pussy. <laughs> That'd be a good one. Toucan Sam eating eating <laughs> Fruit Loops out of a woman's cervix. Mm. Mm, she was it. hiding the cereal in here. She's got she's got cereal all the way on the back <laughs> of her pussy. <laughs> Come follow me, children. Follow me. This is like wings flapping. Yeah, yeah. Some woman at a restaurant screaming. Yeah. <laughs> It's a British bird with his whole face in her pussy. Assaulting her. Sticking his beak. That's got to That's got to feel bad to get a beak in your pussy. I'm having sex. <laughs> Technically. I'm getting pussy. <laughs> 
But Toucan Sam would have been doing it for the cereal. We all know he's gay. Uh, Why? How are you going to say that? He seems gay. Why? Because Fruit Loops? How about so you're who, calling, that's, that's like a gay sound. Who can cereal? cram my penis in the... I think that's pretty fucking prejudiced. No. Man. Toucan Sam. Fruit Loops, sure, that's part of it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to deny the subtext there. You don't have to be gay to have Fruit Loops. Dude. But his whole manner is of that of a homosexual. Right, you're thinking about Zazu from The Lion King, not Toucan They're similar. Sam. They're very similar. Gay birds. They're very similar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm glad they gave... Zazu's them. definitely gay as well. Toucan Sam is also gay, mostly because he's British. Zazu. They're both British. Is Toucan Sam British? Yeah. Um, I would like it if you would massage my penis. <laughs> Why would you like that? Because it would feel good. I'd be like, this is... <laughs> It's it weird. It wouldn't to feel me. good. It yeah. would be weird, man. We couldn't be normal friends again. That's true. You know, it would just mess up our thing. That's Zaz- true, I guess. Uh, Zazu. But at the same time, you should suck my dick. Why should I do that? It'll change everything. Because uh, not for me. I don't value you right now. <sighs> That's really mean. You would just become a fuck toy for That's me. That's really hurtful. St- <laughs> That's a, you would That's elevate. Really- you would That's elevate. Really you would elevate statement. yourself as a fuck toy. And now Nick's playing with the board. I like those sliders. Yeah, that's good. They're, they're fun. Yeah, they're. Fun. I'm really, I'm really about to take a yeah. little nap. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, would you say you're Vinda? You're fat. <laughs> <laughs> you put on a song to help us wake up a little yeah, bit for the last song. 15 minutes. Uh, of the show. I don't know where the fucking wire is. Oh, dude, Come we lost on, the wire. Man, we lost the wire. We can't even have I fun love like the we songs. used to. Um, I see it right there. Uh, on no. the floor. It's right it's no. right between your legs. <laughs> no, I'm I got looking a, at it. I got a, a cease and desist letter from Sony BMG telling me that. If I play any of their music again, they're going to dispatch um, former IDF people to what? follow me around and gather as much dirt as they can on me. And oh, so you should do it. Gang stalk me. You should do it. Just tell them to suck your dick. Mm-hmm. That's kind of like what Weinstein was doing, right? Mm-hmm. Unless you're scared of the IDF. Mm-hmm. I'm not scared of them. Nick is. He's no. that's, why, that's why I won't play fucking... But maybe I'll rewatch Munich. Crazy Town. Later, I haven't seen Munich since it came out. Munich and Argo. I'll do a double. Feature. That's a nice double feature. Yeah, I gotta watch Munich. I've never seen. It. You know, what I haven't seen Munich since it came cool out. Also, I haven't seen The Good Shepherd. I haven't seen the fucking uh, what's the one with Chris Chris, Chris Cooper. And Superman. The oh. the spy movie. He plays. He he plays like the Tinker Taylor soldier penis. No. Penis soldier, fuck my no, ass. But Tinker Taylor, I haven't seen in a while, which I would rewatch. The one, the Locari movie that came out more recently that's mm-hmm. pretty good is the Bridge one. Yeah, the Bridge, Bridge of Terabithia. Spies. Bridge of Spies. I thought it was great. Yeah. Steven I liked Spielberg a lot. made it. Yeah. Is Tom yeah. Hanks in that? Tom Hanks is uh, in I'm, I'm spying on yeah. your penis. He plays mm-hmm. a lawyer for a Russian spy. Uh, what about Tom Yanks? I spy with my little eye. Tom Yanks is jacking you off. Uh, I'm jacking you off in the airport. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sending you an email and jacking you off. I'm cast away to Epstein's Island, uh, the original draft of the screenplay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I don't want to have sex with kids, I'm, but if, I, if I'm stuck out here, I might as well. I'm dying from AIDS, and I'm going to jack you off. Damn, imagine getting shipwrecked on Epstein's Island in the middle of a like child sex ceremony. Mm-hmm. And then you have to escape them because they're trying to kill you because they've seen you. Oh, so then it becomes the most dangerous game. Eyes Mm -hmm. wide castaway. Surviving the game wide castaway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A classic Ice-T movie. That's a great Ice-T movie. Dude, that movie fucking is awesome. Surviving the game? Surviving the game, yeah. Never seen it. Um, That's our come town recommendation for the week. You're going to sit down. And I know you guys, you got a lot of free time. And you get off work and your job at, I don't know, where you guys work, Cheesecake Factory or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you're going to sit down and you're going to watch Bridge of Spies, The Good Shepherd, mm. Bridge of Terabithia, A yep. Wrinkle in Time, The Covenant. A Wrinkle in My Nuts. The mm-hmm. Covenant. Um, the Secret is Which Wrinkle? A Raisin in the Sun. Because all my, nu- my nuts mm. are basically all wrinkles. Fences. Uh, the color purple, uh, the color purple, 
the Babe. Babe, the Babe uh, series. No, the Babe movie starring uh, John Goodman as Babe Ruth. Mm. Um, Should have cast a fucking Dominican. He's pretty good. They gave him a fake nose in it. He looked a lot like Babe Ruth. Did he? Yeah. Did he get pussy? Why should they have casted a Dominican? Because Babe Ruth's Dominican. Was he? There's like a rumor that he was a black man. You see a picture of him when he's old. The The fucking Hebrew Israelite. Look at a picture of him. I mean, I've seen pictures of Babe Ruth. That's a black guy to me. Um, And he used to go to Harlem and get uh, a little bit of brown sugar. Is that so? Yeah, he was really into it. Babe Ruth old. I'll Uh, suck on your dick. uh, How about a guy named Rape Booth? (laughs) 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 He's he's very good at baseball. Tell me this guy doesn't look Dominican. Check this out. I mean, uh, the answer is no. That's a black guy. No. Come on, see. that's an old guy. That's an Let me see. You tell me this guy isn't Dominican? Yeah, he's black. That's an Afro-Latino. Yeah. Maybe he was a socialismo. He Boca. played for Los Junkies. Boca Socisto de yeah. Socialismo. That's true. All right, folks. Well, try to stay cool out there. Ty, Co- Ty Cobb said some shit about him. Um, he said rape booth is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That that was a that would be mean. That would be a mean name for him. Rape Booth. If you played in those days mm-hmm. of Murderers Row, or was that pre Murderers Row? Um, what he was right before Murderers Row. Row, right? What is that? The nineteen twenty eight Yankee. What is the Murderers Row? I thought it wasn't it know. later on with Baseball's Mickey Mantle gay. and shit. I have no idea. I don't care. It's some gay New York thing. Baseball yeah. can suck my dick. All right. 